The Philippines is an agricultural country with a land area of 30 million hectares, 47% of which is agricultural land and having almost 5 million farmers. In the Philippines, banana is currently grown in total area of about 350,000 hectares, which is an estimated 3% of the country's total arable land. For the past years, the area planted by banana has increased, which is an indicative of the growing economic importance of this fruity cultural crop. Banana soda stamps are discarded after every harvest, creating extra income for the farmers because around 5 to 6 stems are needed to extract 1 kilogram of fiber depending upon their quality and the water content. In line with this, this led us to conduct the study of biodisposable products made of banana soda stem. The biodisposable comes from the word biodegradable and disposable. I'm Matthew Luis P. Morales. I am Rhea Hilario. I am Chad Mike and Reyes. From Sablayan National Comprehensive High School. Division of Occidental Mindoro. Region of Mimaropa. Republic of the Philippines. The United States Environmental Protection Agency has stated that over 82 million tons of municipal solid waste in 2018 has been accounted by containers and packaging. This was a leading 28.1% of the total municipal solid waste generation. This is why sustainability efforts such as recycling, composting, or energy recovery from combustion have been implemented to minimize the landfill waste coming from us. We invented biodegradable, disposable eating utensils made of banana soda stem in action to global warming and support the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal No. 12, which is the responsible consumption and production, as we give banana soda stem to raise sensible purpose. Goal No. 20 are the climate action, which is to take urgent action to combat climate change and its impact help in alleviating the proliferation of plastic waste by making alternative eco-friendly disposable products and goal number 14, life below water, which is to avoid plastic bags to keep the ocean clean. Because thousands of other marine animals are suffering from hazards of plastic pollution through choking, intestinal blockage, and starvation. The product was made using two major components, banana pseudo stem and sodium hydroxide. First, five chunks of banana pseudo stem weighing 15 kilograms were chopped into pieces and then placed in a pot of water with sodium hydroxide, left to boil for an hour, then drained. The pseudo stem was then blended and then poured into a tub of water, stirred, and used a silk screen to make the shape that will be used in the final product. It was dried under the sun, then after dried, some of the dried pieces are either made into paper, paper bags. After considering all the trials the product went through, we can conclude that the banana pseudo stem can be used in the production of biodisposable